you know, scripture. Like this is our scripture motto. Like my team has a team scripture, which is Proverbs 27, 17, as iron sharpens iron. So does one man to another. So I wanted hope and struggle to have like a hope and struggle scripture, like our motto. What's a motto? Wait, I'm going to go there. All right. So uh, the scripture for hope and struggle is this. It's 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4. All right. Listen up. And by the way, there are many versions. Um, this is the New King James Version. It's the Maxwell, by the way, leadership Bible that this little girl named Michelle Myers gave me. My favorite Bible. Love it. Thank you so much, Michelle Myers. Um, comfort and suffering. Listen to this. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4. Blessed be the God, our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. Of course. The Father of mercies and God of all comfort. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Who comforts us in all our tribulations. Listen up. That we may be able to comfort those who are in trouble with the same comfort that we received from God. Hold, hold on. Let me just back up. So in four, who comforts us in all of our tribulations, which is trouble, struggle, ups and downs, whatever, so that we can comfort others with the same way we were comforted when they're going through their tribulations. I didn't say it. He did. It's proof. You're going through a struggle right now, someday, somehow, some way, not only to grow you, but so that you can help other people someday go, you know, I kind of went through something similar. And let me just tell you what it did for me or how I figured this out. Like that's proof. There's a reason. And that's proof that it's not just for his glory and our good, but for someone else's good. So let me tell you how hope and struggle came about. I was at MIA, which is Marketing Impact Academy with Shalene Johnson. Shalene is not only a really good friend of mine, but I've gotten to pray with her. I mean, it has just been just a really cool 15 years. Um, but she does this thing where she's like, all right, that's good that you've done that, Mindy. Now what? And you're like, Ugh. she's like, no, you should do this. You should, I mean, like the part where you're like, ah, quit pushing me. But there's a part of you that's like, I want to do more and I want to do better. And I know that there is more. So at Marketing Impact Academy, she's telling you how to market yourself better, of course, and how to be smarter and, you know, use all these really cool, you know, technical things to. and a little like missing. It's like um, Michelle Myers and I were at Camp Turbo Kick or Camp Do More, if you've ever heard of that. And we were praying under the stairs and we would be like, this was there, uh, you know, as we're crying and praying. It wasn't because we were sad. We were just praying. And I'm like, it's so true. And it's like, I think of my fitness business and I love it. And I love the people that we can help. And I typically end up ministering to them somehow, which, you know, by the way, is the most fun for me. And then I realized, you know what? I've got to do this. So I was at Marketing Impact Academy with Domini, who's also who's my niece and my assistant. And thank you, Cody, for sharing. By the way, please swipe and share. I would love it. This helps anyone. Um, real quickly, if, if you don't know what you believe or there are people that you're like, I don't want to share this with them because I don't know what they believe. I like it is this is the most non-scary, non-frightening, non um you better believe it, blah, 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 that you almost can find. And by the way, I will always have big hair and, and, and most of the time nails and makeup. And, and like, I'm telling you, I, I promise I'm not scary, but it's very like relatable. Like, uh, what's the big picture and, um, hope and struggle came about at that marketing impact Academy with Shalene and, and, um, Dominique sitting by my side, who by the way was pregnant at the time. And then of course you can 